My name is John Hargrove. I am a former SeaWorld killer whale trainer. I have 14 years of experience between SeaWorld of Texas, SeaWorld of California, and Marineland in the south of France. I resigned my position with SeaWorld August of 2012, and I gave my interview to Gabriella for the film Blackfish one week after I resigned my position. I think I worked with 20 different killer whales in my career and swam with 17 of them. And Kasaka and Takara definitely made the biggest mark on me as a trainer and in my career. I was doing double water work in a show. Uh, I had Takara, another trainer had Keat, and we were doing double stand on spy hops. So that's where we have one foot on the rostrum of the whale, and the whale's foot pushes down to the bottom of the pool. And we're hauling butt towards the surface of the water, very high rate of speed, and right before we break the surface of the water, my left foot, that's my dominant foot on her, just completely washes off of her, but she just couldn't stop, and so all 5,000 pounds of her slammed into my ribs, her rostrum slammed into the ribs. So it broke my ribs, it compressed my, uh, my chest cavity, and broke my ribs in the front and the back, threw me like a rag doll. Of course, it knocked the, the wind out of me. So she's making this big sharking loop around me and she's echolocating all on me. So to describe echolocation, the whales have the ability, they emit sound from the melon of their forehead and they can direct that sound to what object that they want it to hit. It's sent to the brain and they get an image. So they can see with sound, essentially. And what's so crazy about it is they not only can make it bounce off of things, but they can also make it transfer through other things. So by doing this, though, the whales can do essentially like a sonogram on us, and they can see what's happening inside of us. So she can see that I've, I've broken bones. She put her pecs on my feet, and it was so gentle and so smooth, it didn't jar my body at all, didn't even feel it and she's peck pushing me from the front show pool into the back pool and then to to give me a peck step off is what we call it typically it's kind of a rough maneuver and your body's kind of shocked a lot and knowing the condition that i was in she gave me this very smooth very high peck step off where i i didn't have to hardly move my body at all to just take just one small little step off of her peck and, uh, you know, it just goes to show you the awareness level that these animals have, and that's something that's not taught. And, you know, she knew that I was injured. I have been in more than one uh, major water work aggression where the whales have grabbed me in their mouth and pulled me under the water. And, um, you know, you would think when something like that happens to you that your brain would go to panic mode and you would be thinking, when is this apex predator gonna bring me back to the surface? All of us that are very experienced at Shamu, we do have that belief in, in those situations. I think you have to, to be able to interact with the whales like that. You just believe like, look, you zip up that wetsuit and you're like, look, my relationship's in the right spot. I know what I'm doing behaviorally and even if things get ugly, I'm gonna get out of it. One of the hardest things for me about Don is because I know as an experienced trainer, and Don had 16 years of experience, I know that she had to have been thinking when he initially pulled her in that I'm gonna get out of this. Like, I'm going to be able to turn this around. And what's heartbreaking for me is knowing that at, what, at that point that she had to accept that she was not going to turn it around, that she wasn't gonna make it. I have a lot of guilt. I think I'll always have guilt about leaving those whales, feeling like I abandoned those whales. But you know, you, you come to the point where you realize that even as an experienced trainer, that you cannot make the change. You cannot prevent these whales from being artificially inseminated or from them taking the calf away from the mother or being moved to another park. The only way that I could rationalize that guilt was by speaking out for those whales after I left. Now I can be a voice for them, and I have the platform of media, and I do believe in the power of media, and now we can 
you know, affect the change that I couldn't do even as a very experienced trainer from the inside.